You made it, the last training in the initial online series. Now that you've learned why and how girls can participate in the MagNot program, let's talk about the financial responsibilities that you have and the ones you oversee that troop MagNot managers have. In this training video, I'll review what troop MagNet managers do when collecting payments for MagNet products from girls and all the submission requirements and due dates for the bank account information and ACH authorization form, the ACH adjustment form, and delinquency paperwork. I'll also review how troop finances can impact the service unit bonus. Girls will collect payment from a customer when the customer places an in-person magazine subscription. Payments for the nuts and candy, including the nut promises, is collected when the customer receives the product. So what happens to those payments? Troop Magnet Managers are to collect girl payments and deposit into the Troop's bank account in a timely manner and record each girl's payment on the Troop dashboard. Emphasize this task to Troop Magnet Managers in their training so they can avoid issues with the Troop's bank account and with proceeds and recognitions. The amount owed to Council will be automatically debited from the Troop bank account. The Troop will give authorization by submitting a bank account information and ACH authorization form, allowing GSWPA to issue debits or credits to the bank account. A new Troop will need to submit the bank account information and ACH authorization form by November 22, 2017, with a canceled check from their Troop checking account to GSWPA, Finance Department, 30 Isabella Street, Suite 107, Pittsburgh, PA 15212. An existing troop with a bank account information and ACH authorization form on file does not have to file again. If there have been any changes in the bank account information, such as a different bank, account number, or signers, a new bank account information and ACH authorization form must be submitted by November 22, 2017 with a canceled troop check. The form can be found at gswpa.org slash forms. GSWPA will upload the banking information that Council has on file for each troop into the troop dashboard. The bank name will appear if they have submitted a bank account information and ACH authorization form. If there is no bank name listed in the troop dashboard, the troop has not submitted a bank account information and ACH authorization form and must do so before November 22, 2017. Troop magnet managers cannot input banking information on the troop dashboard. As a service unit magnet manager, you should check to see if troops have a bank name. If there is no bank information, follow up with the Troop Magnet Manager to submit a bank account information and ACH authorization form. GSWPA will do only one sweep for the Magnet program. The sweep will occur on December 12, 2017. If a troop in your service unit will not have the funds available on the date of the scheduled sweep for any reason, it is the Troop Magnet Manager's responsibility to complete and submit the ACH Adjustment Form by December 5, 2017. Troop Magnet Managers will need to give the reason for the adjustment request and indicate how much GSWPA can safely debit from the Troop account. The ACH Adjustment Form is also found on gswpa.org forms. Troops do not pay for a girl's balance due or retain the proceeds from a girl's sale. If the reason the troops will not have enough funds available for the sweep is due to a girl delinquency, troop magnet managers will also need to submit delinquency paperwork. This will include a copy of the balance due letter that was sent to the parent, the balance due form, the signed permission form, and the signed troop sales summary report that the parent signed when they received the product. These forms are due by December 15, 2017 to GSWPA, Attention Yvonne Colleran, 30 Isabella Street, Suite 107, Pittsburgh, PA 15212. Emphasize to troop magnet managers that they should not delay submitting delinquent forms to GSWPA. The troop will be held responsible for the balance due if no delinquent forms are received. A sample past due letter and forms can be found on gswpa.org forms. 
If the troop receives the delinquent funds after the sweep, the troop should then submit a troop check to GSWPA, attention Yvonne Colleran, at the same Pittsburgh address for the balance due to counsel. If the delinquent money is collected by GSWPA, a check will be issued to the troop for the proceeds. You should check your service unit dashboard to verify that each troop has paid in full or has filed the correct delinquency paperwork. Remember, one of the criteria to earn the service unit bonus is to have all troops paid or delinquent paperwork filed by December 12th, in addition to the increase in sales over last year. Financial procedures will be reviewed in your training session and any further questions you have can be answered then. Congratulations, you've completed all of the online initial training series. Next up in your training path is the in-person training. So what can you expect at the in-person training session? First, the Magnet volunteers who have earned service pins will be recognized. Then the product sales team will review key information and tasks you'll need to keep on top of during the program, including nut promises, delivery of in-person product sales, and financial responsibilities and dates. You'll also get a closer look at some of the new product offerings this year, as well as the new unified system for QSP and Ashton Farms Unify. You'll also review what resources will be available to support you and your troop magnet managers and where you can find them. After the in-person training session, the last step in your training path is to rejoin Yvonne for an online training of Unify. She'll show you all the tasks you have to do in Unify and how to navigate the system. So let's review your next steps. Make sure to submit your delivery site form. Please complete and submit the form by September 7, 2017. The link to this form will be emailed to you soon. Second, familiarize yourself with the contents of a girl packet so you can explain all the materials to troop magnet managers. You should receive the girl packets by mid-August by UPS. Have any questions? Contact Customer Care at 1-800-248-3355. They will either answer your questions or will be able to direct you to the right people to answer them. Thanks for joining us.